Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. I'm very excited to show off our new navigation system. So all you have to do to opt in is head over to the navigation settings and click this toggle right here. If you have it off, you won't see this beautiful new preview. And if you have it on, you'll see it. So it'll be really obvious. And so this is the first major thing is we have a live preview of your navigation right in the settings. So as you make changes, you can actually see how it's going to look in your app. It's really convenient. So obviously we have the navigation type. We can jump over to a sidebar. Right now we're in the minimal mode where the labels only show upon hover for this slick minimal view. And we have the default sidebar, which is just sort of a standard vertical sidebar. And so I'll just talk about a few big changes. Number one is what we're calling this accent. So this is the uh, this sort of border circle around the highlighted item. It's here in the sidebar and it's also in the header. You can see it. I think that it looks really nice and crisp. And so there are a few options. You can go back to the original, which is uh, a color highlight. You can see that it's just a little bit brighter than the inactive ones. And so I'm going to keep it on the badge, but I want to show you that you can adjust the border radius of that badge. So you can see here the corners of this badge are, are completely square or they can go all the way to round. I really like it like this, but it is customizable to sort of fit your motif. So one of the other major things which was already available, but is still available is the ability to go from dark to light mode. So let's say I wanted to have a completely white um, sidebar or header. So all I have to do, adjust my text color to dark. And now you can see everything is automatically handled for you. Um, everything's essentially inverted. And so if I want to go further, I can add a border to either the bottom of my header or to the side of my sidebar. And I have the ability to adjust that border color. You can see it adjusts in real time there. So I'm going to keep it at this nice light gray and you know that looks great but uh, i also have the option to do a uh, box shadow which is similar but it's sort of like a it's a drop shadow instead of it being a defined single pixel border so these are just some of the great settings um, of course we also still have the ability to upload your logo and adjust some sizes now let's take a jump over to a live app here and you can just see what this looks like in full color um, you can also see uh, what happens if uh, we uh, make an adjustment to this setting down here, which is called, let's see, hmm. oh, it's only in header mode. So there's a setting that's called menu preference. So this is very subtle. Um, by default, we try to look at how many items can fit into this middle space here in the header. And so this is only relevant for the header. And if we are able to fit all of them, then it looks just like this. And by default, we're going to put this little um, single character. Uh, it's the first letter of the first name of the person who's logged in. And so that's still a menu. This is pretty familiar. But we also have the ability to either force it to always be this hamburger menu instead, or you can set it to dynamic, which I believe is the default. And all that means is that as we go here, as soon as it gets small enough that a single item or more is hidden into this dropdown, it turns into the hamburger menu. So you can see here, it's changing in real time. Um, this preview isn't fully uh, accurate compared to the live app, but one way or another, you can see, um, I guess this is sort of how it looks. So you can see that it's these items are sort of showing and hiding in real time. And eventually we get all the way back down to just this regular hamburger. So anyway, those are uh, some of the settings. I think I might have covered all of them, but we're very excited. Um, the, the main idea here is just that the new navigation is much cleaner. The spacing is better. It's just it just looks more modern. And that's what we want for your apps. So thank you for watching. Excited to see what you build. Don't forget to opt in to that new feature.